We're now going to continue our absolute value equations. But this time, what we're going to talk about what happens if we put an absolute value on both sides. So we have the absolute value of u equals the absolute value of v. Well, this means that u could be either positive or negative, and v could be positive or negative. And so that gives us four combinations, u equals v, u equals minus v, minus u equals positive v, and minus u equals minus v. But you'll notice as we look at these, that these two are the same. Multiply this, this one by a negative on both sides, and you get that one. And same from this one. So we really still only need two equations. And so to keep our rule straight, we're going to say, if the absolute value of u equals the absolute value of v, then u equals v, and u equals minus v. So here's where this gets used. Suppose we have the absolute value of x plus 1 equals the absolute value of 2x plus 3. Well, since we see the absolute value signs and we remember our rule, we always solve two equations. We start by solving x plus 1 equals 2x plus 3. And we also solve, we keep the left the same, and we put a negative outside of parentheses on the other. So x plus 1 equals minus 2x plus 3. So we're going to subtract x from both sides and subtract 3 on this side to get minus 2 equals x or x equals minus 2. That's one of our solutions. And we'll go back and check it in just a moment. For our other one, we first need to distribute the parentheses and then we're going to add 2x to both sides and subtract 1. So 3x equals minus 4 divide by 3, and x equals minus 4 thirds. So here's our two points to check. If we plug these in, the first one's real easy. Minus 2 plus 1 equals 2 times minus 2 plus 3. And remember the absolute value. So minus 2 plus 1 is minus 1. Is that the same as minus 4 plus 3? Well, minus 1 equals the absolute value of minus 1, and the absolute value of minus 1 is 1. So sure enough, 1 equals 1. For our other case, it's going to take a little more work. And so I'm going to go ahead and rewrite this as 3 thirds, because that's the same as 1. 2 over 1 times minus 4 over 3 plus 9 thirds. So I can get everything in thirds. So minus 4 thirds plus 3 thirds is minus 1 third. Is that the same as the absolute value minus 1 third? Minus 8 thirds plus 9 thirds. Well, the absolute value, well, let's leave it in absolute values for now. But minus 8 thirds plus 9 thirds is 1 third. And when I take the absolute value of both sides, I get 1 third equals 1 third. Since that's the same, then these are my two answers. So again, the most important thing is to remember that we get two equations. Solve them both separately, but don't forget, don't forget, don't forget this negative on the right one.